Sometimes we want to be able to determine how much we can borrow given our financial situation. This video is going to help you learn how to make those calculations. A man agrees to pay $300 per month for four years to pay off a car loan. If the interest rate is 4.5% compounded monthly, how much did the car originally cost? In other words, we have to be able to determine the amount we can borrow. And also, we're going to calculate the amount of interest that was paid. All right, now, we set up the payment. We have 300 a month. The interest rate is 4.5% per month. The time is four years. Since we're making monthly payments, the M is equal to 12. The I is equal to the 4.5% divided by the 12. The N, the total number of payments, is equal to the 12 times the 4. And now we want to be able to determine the present value, the amount of the loan. So I'm going to go to present value, and I have that there already. The rate is the I. The N per is the 48. The payment is the $300 that the man promised to pay per month. And that tells us that the man can borrow $13,155.88. That's the maximum he can borrow to buy the car. Now we want to determine how much interest was paid. Well, we, in order to do that, we have to calculate the total payments. And the total payment formula is the PMT times the total payments. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the $300 times the 48 payments that were made. And that tells us that this man paid $14,400 back to the bank for the amount that he borrowed. Therefore, the interest paid is going to be the total payments minus the amount of the loan, which tells us if he borrowed the maximum amount he was allowed, he paid $1,244.12 in interest over the four-year period. Now we have a very interesting problem. Again, we want to help the Shermans determine how much they could borrow in order to be able to buy a house. Financial experts say that the mortgage payment should not exceed 25% of the family's gross income. If the Shermans have a combined income of $100,000 per year, given the fact that they could borrow a mortgage at 5% interest compounded monthly for 30 years, paying it in monthly payments, we want to determine the maximum amount that the Shermans can afford. Well, since they have a combined income of $100,000 and the financial experts said the payments cannot exceed 25% per year, the first thing we're going to calculate is what is the maximum that they could pay per year. In order to do that, we take the $100,000 that they earn times the 25%, according to the financial experts. And therefore, that tells us that they could pay out a maximum of $25,000 per year. But since the payments are calculated on a monthly basis, in order to be able to determine the maximum that they could pay per month, we take the 25000 we divide that by 12, and therefore the maximum they can pay on the mortgage is $2,083.33. Well, now we have enough to calculate the amount that they can borrow. And sorry for my spelling. Let's make that into a B. Okay. So the maximum that they could borrow based upon monthly payments is M is 12. Remember, the I is going to be the 5% divided by the 12. That's the periodic interest rate. The N is equal to the M, which is 12, times the 30, telling us they're making 360 payments on the mortgage. Therefore, the amount they can borrow using the PV formula says the interest rate, which is the I, the periodic interest rate. The N part is the 360 payments that they are making, minus the amount of the payments. So we see a positive number in our PV column, the amount we can borrow. 
And that tells us that the Shermans can borrow a maximum of $388,086.70. Now let's go to a different situation where we're not making monthly payments. This time we're making semi-annual payments. And a business might do something like this. We're starting off with making a 12% interest com with 12% interest compounded semi-annually. The loan is paid in half year intervals for 10 years and we can afford to pay $1,000. So again, since it's semi-annual payments, we're making two payments per year. The interest rate is going to be the 12% divided by the two payments per year. That's the periodic interest rate. The N is going to be equal to the 2 times the 10, which make, means we're making 20 payments over the life of the loan. Again, to be able to find it, we go to our present value function. The interest rate is I. The N per is equal to the 20. Our payment is $1,000 every six months. And therefore, the maximum they could borrow is $11,469.92.